in abundance. And that is where the name of the ministry is coming from, Abundant Life Ministries, because Jesus came so that you and I can experience life in abundance. And the mandate of this ministry is simply to declare the order of God in the lives of God's people, where the enemy came to steal kill and destroy. Our mandate is to declare the order of God, the life in abundance in the life of God's people. Hallelujah. So I welcome you all online this morning. As, as I said, it's a special Christmas service from the comfort of your home. We want to thank you that you have taken time to tune in, hallelujah, on this channel. And I promise you, hallelujah, the word that the Lord has today is a word that will change your life. It's a word that will that will set you free. It's a word that will, that will give you a new perspective of what it means to celebrate Christmas. So I welcome you. If you don't mind, share the link. Hallelujah. Invite someone to a watch party. Let somebody uh, also benefit, benefit from what you are benefiting from this morning. So if you don't mind, please share the link and invite someone. Remind the sister, remind the brother to come online. Hallelujah. Why don't you just lift up your heads wherever you are and, and celebrate the presence of the Lord this morning as we worship him this morning. Just worship him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When I come Can you just take some time and worship in this morning? As we come into his presence, we are happy, yes, Lord, for we know that in the presence of the Lord, there is healing in the presence of the Lord, there is salvation in the presence of the Lord, there is deliverance in the presence of the Lord, there is joy, hallelujah. Can you just take time and worship him and thank him for his presence, the presence, the presence of the Lord. I am the Nebosa, the Kayama Santa Bakaya. Thank you for your presence, oh Lord. Thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you for your presence. Thank you that you have sent your son, oh Lord, to die for us. And this morning, oh God, we celebrate the death by Yahweh Bosheta Bakaya. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your blessings, Lord. Rebo Shanda Rabakoro Bosa. Rekete de Shata. I am so happy, Lord. When I come. This morning, as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Great I am, God never fails. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our healer, Matebo, Shaka Makaya, Rekaya Masondo, the God is omnipresent. The God is omnipresent. Rekaya Mama Mama Shanda, the God is omnipotent. The 
Right. Another Christmas is here. Yes. You are alive. 
I am alive. That's right. And to God be all the glory. Amen. When we look back in the midst of the, in the middle of the year, many of us don't even know if we will make it this far. Oh, yes. But here we are. Yes. Here we are, standing strong, yes. worshiping God, hearing the word of God, celebrating His goodness. Amen. And all we can say is, the Lord is good. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. The Lord who watches over you. The Lord who watches over the sparrows Hello. has kept his word. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake Amen. you. Even when you go through the waters, when you pass through fires, I will be with you. And yes. he has kept his word. And that is why this morning we can celebrate his goodness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And once again, we can say, oh Lord, to you be oh, all the glory. glory. Why don't you take the moment where you are? And say, Lord, I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for protection. Thank you that I am alive this hour. Thank you that the enemy and his plan did not come to pass yes. in my life. Hallelujah. I bless you yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we go into the word, I want us to take a prayer of thanksgiving. I want us to take a prayer of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. The word of God said, enter his gate with thanksgiving and we are coming before the Lord with thanksgiving. What are we thanking God for? We are thanking him for releasing his son to us. That's right. We are thanking him for remembering us. Yes. We are thanking him because if you are the only one alive, Jesus will still have been. That's right. Just for you. That is how precious you are. That is how wonderful you are in the eyes of the Lord. And because of that, the Lord has protected you. Because the blood that was shed for you, it makes sure that it will never be in vain. Amen. Just take a moment and thank God for the gift of life. Father, I thank you for your protection. Thank you for sending your son to me. Thank you for sending your son for me. Thank you for your son that has purposed me to give me life, to give me life in abundance. We bless you, Lord. Receive my thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we appreciate you that this son was born. If Jesus was not born for us, he would not have died for us. If he was not born for us, he would not have atoned for our sin. And that is why this morning we celebrate, we celebrate, and we say thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want to specially welcome each and every one of you online, yes. wherever you are spending this Christmas with your family, mm. in Ventuk, in Tumem, in the north, in Nigeria, in Canada, in, in, in Zambia, wherever you are, I want to welcome you, and I want to say to you, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hallelujah. Amen. And I also want to welcome the woman of God, prophetess of God, who has led us in this wonderful worship, you are welcome. May the Lord continue to bless you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I also welcome the children who are here with us mm. as we celebrate this wonderful day. Amen. 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 Let's go to the word of God as we celebrate the, 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 the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I will be taking the scripture for this, for this celebration. Mm. And this message from the Luke, from the book of Luke, mm. chapter two, I will read from verse one to six. Other scriptures and verses I will be making reference to it. Hallelujah! Luke the word. book of Luke, chapter two, from verse one to six. Hallelujah! These are stories we have heard over and over again. Hallelujah! Many of us can recite these stories in our heart. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I'm so excited when it comes to Christmas in all the festive season that is being celebrated. Hallelujah. Amen. All over the nations of the earth. The one that stands out is the celebration of the birth of Christ. Mm. 
when it comes to Christmas, the whole world is at that attention. And that tells you that this is a glorious. That's thing. right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 2, from verse 1 to 6. Mm. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, mm. David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. Verse 5. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged who was now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. Mm. Verse seven, let's take verse seven. Yes, sir. She gave birth to her first son. She wrapped him snugly in the stripes of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. Other versions say because there was no room for, for them, them in the in inn. inn. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, bless the reading of your word. On this wonderful occasion that we celebrate the birth of Christ, reveal to us a word in season, mm. a word that will turn the life of someone, yes. a word that will answer the question of somebody connected, yes. a word that will shift the atmosphere for someone, yes. a word that will settle the case of someone yes. online this yes. night, yes. this yes. morning. It's a mighty name of Jesus. And at the end of the day, I pray that through this ministration, yes, joy that you have yes, released yes, into the world, yes, we fill all our hearts yes, in the mighty name yes, of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On this day, I want to share with us the mind of God and the word I want to share for you is not for everyone. Mm. But as I say, it may be if you find yourself and you realign yourself and you define yourself according to what is being said, maybe this word will be for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I am coming with a message, and that message is titled Hope for Vision Carriers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hope for Vision Carriers. Mm. And you may ask me, who is a vision carrier? A vision carrier is somebody who has a word from God and is looking forward for that word to come to pass. A vision carrier is somebody who has prophecy hanging over his or head and is waiting for the appointed time for that word to come to pass. A vision carrier is somebody who has received instruction from God mm. saying, this is what I want you to do. And you are waiting for the appointed time Hallelujah. for that word to come to pass. Mm. The book of Habakkuk talks about vision. He said, write the vision down. Yes. Though it is delayed, though it starts, right is that those who see it may read it and run with it. Mm. Though it is delayed at the appointed time, it shall, it shall surely come to pass. To pass. Amen. The appointed time. Mm. So a vision carrier is somebody who has received the word of God, Hallelujah. who has received teaching through the word of yeah, God, so and something has been shared in you, and you know this is what the Lord is calling me to do. Mm. A vision carrier is somebody who knows I am not here on earth as a statistic. Yes. I am here to fulfill a mandate. I am here to advance the kingdom of mm. God. Those are the people that I am talking to this morning. Amen. I don't know if you fit into that definition. Do you fit into the definition of somebody Amen. who has a word of God hanging over his head, waiting for the appointed time 
for the word to come to pass, do you fit into that definition of somebody who has in mind to start something great, but you are waiting for the appointed time for that word yes. to come to pass? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you that person waiting for prophecy, waiting for prayers mm. of your parents, of your mother or your father, and of your sister. spiritual authority to come to pass yes. at the appointed time? Yes. So if you are that person, this message is for you. Amen. Hope for vision carriers. carriers. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every year, Many people, including us around the world, we prepare for the 25th of December. Mm. We prepare to celebrate Christmas. Mm. Shopping take place. Holiday trips are planned. We have candlelight, Christmas carol everywhere. Yes. Yes. Even those who don't know Christ sing the Christmas oh, carol. Yes. Mm. Those who even don't know Christ make money mm. from the celebration of this Christmas. Mm. We tell the story over and over again. Mm. We talk about Gabriel's visitation to Mary. That's right. We talk about the journey to Bethlehem. We talk about the arrival of the baby in the manger as we talked about we read this morning. Mm. We talk about the glorious announcement of the angels to the shepherd while they wash their flocks by night. Mm. We talk about the star in the east. We read about Herod who was angry and wanted to kill the child. Mm. We read about all these things. And we have become one with the story. Mm. However, there is a danger, and that danger is familiarity. Mm. That when we become familiar with the story, mm. knowing the story too well, mm. we tend to miss mm. what the Lord is revealing to mm. us in a time such as this. When we miss what the Lord is revealing to us during any celebration, we miss a time, we miss a season, we miss a move of God. And this morning, the Lord is coming to you to remain reveal his mind to you during this celebration. Hallelujah. Mm. The Christmas celebration for this year, 2020, is very different from every other year because this year is different from most other years. Many of us have heard stories of what of similar things that has happened, but we have not experienced That's it. Right. Many of us are experiencing this time and season for the, the first very time. first That's time. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And many are sitting and wondering if it is worth it to celebrate Christmas. Hmm. And they are asking, is it worth it to celebrate the birth of a king that brought salvation? Mm. Is it worth it? Many have gone through a lot of things. Their faith has been shaken. And they are about to give up on their faith in Christ. Mm. Many have even given up. During the lockdown, many people are unable to come out of the lockdown. Mm. Their faith has been locked down. Mm. <laughs> The happenings of 2020 has given those who do not believe in God to question our God. Mm. They've been asking, where is your God in the midst of all this? Mm. Didn't you say your God can hear? Mm. Didn't you say your God can do miracles? Mm. Didn't you say your God can do wonders? Didn't you say your God reveals things before it happens? Mm. Where is your God? And they are mocking the God that we serve. Mm. They are asking question, where is your God? Mm. And for many, that question has sunk in our mind and we are really asking, Lord, really, where are you mm. in the midst of all, mm. all this? Physically, when you look around, things look so bleak. Many have lost hope. There is, there seems to be no hope for the future. Hallelujah. Amen. Hope for vision carriers. At the beginning of 2020, even before the year, we have received words from God 
Many conceive visions to do great things, but at this point, it is not possible, or it looks as if it is not possible. And hope is disappearing. And it looks like the fulfillment of those things will not come to pass. But this morning, as we celebrate the birth of Christ, which was a miracle in itself, I want to share with you the mind of God. I want to share with you the mind of God from the scriptures. And I want to tell you there is hope. There is hope. And I'm bringing this hope for vision carriers. Hallelujah. Like I mentioned earlier, this message is for those who have visions. It's for those who have prophecy. It's for those who have a word from God and they are wondering, how will it come to pass in the midst of this pandemic? The first wave came, we thought we are out of the woods. And all of a sudden, stricter measures are coming. We are hearing news that things are not going to be normal. And we are asking, how will I start the project yeah. God gave to me yeah. when the atmosphere is not conducive? That's right. How will I train my children in the midst of this chaos? How will my business start? Or how will my business prosper? Because when I look around, a whole lot of businesses have closed right. down. And you are telling me, you gave me this vision to start this business. How in the midst of this chaos? How will I make profit? When in our land there is coffee, mm -hmm. my business thrive even in the evening. Many people during this Christmas, before Christmas, have prepared a lot of uh, uh, businesses to have concerts, to have things to sell, but there is coffee. Mm -hmm. You cannot, and it seems that business has gone down mm -hmm. the trail. Many people have borrowed money to even initiate that business. Mm. But right now, they are sitting in agony. <laughs> and you are asking, in the midst of all this, how will the word of God come to pass? If this is your question, let me tell you this morning, with God, all things are possible. Amen. If God will not do it, he will not say it. Amen. If he say it, he will surely right. do it. Hallelujah. Yes. The Bible says the earth and the heavens belong yes. to the Lord. Yes. And the fullness thereof. Yes. And because it belongs to him, he knows how to arrange yes. things to match and to cooperate yes. with his word coming to pass. Yes. The word of God said, I am standing behind my word to make sure, to make sure, to make sure that that word comes to pass. If the Lord said, I am standing behind my word to make sure it is accomplished, it means he is ready to approach, to pull down, to pull those, anything that will stand in the way of his word. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 2, we see God walking behind the scenes That's right. to make sure that his word comes come to, to pass. pass. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It was recorded that Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Hmm. And everyone has to go to their land of descent. Hmm. They have to go to their ancestors' home. At this point, Mary was heavily pregnant, but Joseph had no plan. Mm. He had no plan to go to his hometown. He was more interested in how to take care of this girl that is pregnant with the Holy Spirit. Hey. Even at that point, he's still wondering, how is this? He cannot even explain. But he said, because I'm a just man, I will listen to what the angel said. Mm. Let me take care of this girl mm. so that she can get back to this child that the Lord said. It was not in his plan mm. to go on that trip. Mm. Ordinarily, if you look at it, mm. you don't think that you don't think that 
a young man who is having a young girl pregnant for him, we want to travel hmm. in this time of heavy pregnancy. Yeah. But something has to happen. Yeah. That has to force Joseph. Hmm. That gave him no option to travel hmm. to Bethlehem. Hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You see, for prophecy to be fulfilled, God has to allow certain things to happen in order to order the steps of Joseph right. so that it can be in alignment with prophecy. Mm. The book of Micah chapter 5 verse 2 says, But you, O Jerusalem, mm. Ephrata, are a small village among the people, yet a ruler will originate from you. Mm. Micah chapter 5 verse 2 talks about Jerusalem. A ruler will come, come from, from you. And that was talking about Jesus. Yes. Joseph was in Bethlehem. Mm. He was in, he was in Jerusalem. But Bethlehem was the prophecy. Mm. The prophecy yeah. said, This child in Mary will be born in mm. Bethlehem. Yes. So if Joseph has stayed in Jerusalem yeah. and refused to go, Prophecy will have been defied. That's right. People will stand up today and say that child that was born is not a child of prophecy. Yeah. Because the prophecy said Bethlehem. he must be born in Bethlehem. Mm. <laughs> From this, you need to understand that as long as the Lord is with you, mm. Everything that happens to you, mm. everything that happens around you will be used by the Lord for your good. Amen. COVID-19 or 20, mm. lockdown or no lockdown, yes. whatever situation, yes. the Lord will use it Hallelujah. for your own good. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> I pray for you that the Lord will order your steps. Amen. That you will be at the right place Amen. at the right time. Amen. That wherever you go, you will not move out of the will of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. A law was given out of the blue. The Bible said it was not a normal thing. Hmm. So because it was, it was a normal thing, there will have been preparations. Yeah. But it just came, boom, census, everybody go, and you dare not question the Roman Empire, the ruler, you can't. Joseph obeyed the law of the land. He had a choice to stay behind. He could have gone and said, my wife is heavily pregnant, so I can't go. Maybe they will have given him exemption. But he decided to obey. Mm. Child of God, in this time, in this season, mm. it is very important for you to obey the law of the land. That's right. It is very important for you yeah. to obey every regulation. Yeah. Even if you don't like it, just obey it. It is God at work. Mm. When the, the government said, there shall be no church, let us stay at home yeah. and let us obey. When they said there is coffee, we cannot have crossover service. Let us obey. And you will know that in the midst of all this, God will work out things for your own good. Hallelujah. Mm. Now when they go to Bethlehem, the Bible says in verse 6, while they were there, the time came for the child to come. Can I prophesy to someone mm. that this is the time, this is the season for prophecy to come to fulfill. Amen. This is the time for your vision to be realized. Amen. This is the time for all prayers Amen. to be answered yes. in the mighty name yes. of Jesus. The Lord spoke to Mary through the angel. The Lord spoke to Joseph through the angel. The Lord spoke through 
prophets years ago that a child would be born and a day came when that child was born. I speak over your life this morning because we are celebrating the fulfillment of a prophecy. Every word spoken over your life will surely come to pass. It will come to pass without any delay in the name of Jesus. Amen. It came to pass that the baby was born. Hmm. And the Bible says when the time came, there was no hotel. Hmm. <laughs> there was no clinic. There was no decent place. Hmm. Everywhere was full. Hmm. Imagine the stress of Joseph. The stress he would have, he would have gone through from the trip if, he, if Joseph was traveling, if it's this situation, this story was written, or mm. the setup was in Namibia, you can imagine why they are coming from the north mm. or from the south and they are coming to Ventu. Mm. And jo jo Joseph is going with Mary. They didn't have a car. They did just say they didn't have a donkey. They have to walk many. He, 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 the woman will have given stress, say, okay, when we get here, they just talk. Uh, you know, as pregnant women today, this moment, I just need to buy some bright flesh. And Joseph will look around to look for yeah. bright flesh. When he get the bright flesh, he say, no, I don't feel like eating bright flesh again. <laughs> just get me on my area meal. And Joseph will say, all the shops are closed. Then he will go to the service station. And when he get to the service station, mm -hmm. he, he, he will realize um, that the price of my every meal in the service station is more expensive than what is in his pocket. Mm. Stress. And that was not enough. When they got to the place, no place. Ordinarily, they were supposed to be in a inn, in a mm. hotel or in a clinic. But the Bible said everywhere was full mm. because everybody came for census. Yeah. A situation happened which was not normal to everyone. Mm. And everybody found themselves scrambling for the available, available space. Mm. But in the midst of all this, the child was born. No space, the child was born. Mm. No proper cleaning, the child was born. Mm. Everywhere was full, the child was born. Oh, yes. The chaos, lack of proper hotel, mm. the lack of proper inn, the <laughs> lack of or, or somebody who will say, come into my house. The lack of all these things will not stop the prophecy being fulfilled. Hallelujah. And this morning as we are celebrating Christ, every chaos around you yes. will not stop your vision from Amen. being fulfilled. Every Amen. chaos, yes. every lack yes. will not stop the mm. fulfillment of the word of God in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said in verse 7, she gave back to her first son. She wrapped him, and the child was given back to in a manger mm. because there was no place. Child of God, <laughs> our God is the same God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same God today. Hallelujah. He's the same God forever. <laughs> Hallelujah. The baby was not born in a clinic. The baby was not born in a fanciful hotel, but the child was born in a manger amongst animals. Mm. Can you imagine that? But the truth is that prophecy was fulfilled. It was not about how or where the child was born. What was more important is that that child came to pass without the expert of midwives. The child came to pass. Mm. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to tell you. As we find ourselves in this uncertain period, mm. I want to assure you there is hope. 
There is more for that vision you are carrying. Don't give up, child of God. Don't focus on the circumstances. Rather focus on the one who spoke to you and who promised you. For he who promised is faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. That vision will be accomplished. Hallelujah. Prophecy will be fulfilled. The gospel will be preached. Yes, it will be preached. Yes. Irrespective of lockdown. Irrespective of limitation. Irrespective of curfew. Irrespective of COVID-19. Gospel will be preached. Hallelujah. Souls will come to the kingdom of God. You will build that house. Even in the midst of this chaos, you will graduate from that course. Hallelujah. In the midst of this catastrophe, yes. ah, you will marry without delay. Yes. In the midst of all this, yes. Yes, Lord. There is someone online as I got that the spirit just dropping me. The Lord said, your husband I have prepared for you is coming from afar. Mm. And you are asking yourself, there is lockdown everywhere. How can this person travel? I'm telling you, take your eyes away, limitation. Mm. There was no hotel. There was no inn. There was no room for them. But the child was born. Mm. You will start that business and that business will prosper. Mm. In the midst of all that is happening, you shall be promoted on that job. It looks like that place you have spent years and they are singing song of, 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 of laying off star, star. They are singing song of closing it down. But I am telling you from the throne of God, that company will not be closed. In the midst of that, you shall be promoted in the name of Jesus. Has God spoken to you? If the answer is yes, then the case is settled. Amen. The situation might not be ideal, like in the case of Mary, but you need to push the baby Hallelujah. in the main house. Don't worry. God is in control. Amen. Now you might say, in a manger, yes. in a manger, what is a manger? What does a manger represent for me? Yes, in the manger. The manger represents on ideal circumstances. Mm. The manger represents situations that are not mm. normal. The manger represents situations that don't make sense to mm. every human being. Who could have thought that the king of kings mm. and the lord of lords mm. will be giving bad show mm. amongst the animals? But the lord allowed it. Mm. You see, there are things that happen when the Lord speaks to you. Those who do mathematics or science will understand when there is an equation. Mm. There are things called constant and variables. Mm. In the word of God, there are constants and there are variables. Constant is the end product of what the Lord wants to do. In the case of Jesus, the constant is that this child will be born. The variable is where the child will be born. Mm. That's why you will not see emphasis placed on variables. Mm. Because God can change variables. Mm. But his word, the end product, remain constant. <laughs> so if the Lord says, I am promoting you. In your mind, you might think this is how it will work because under normal circumstances, this is how things should work. But I'm telling you, the way things work are variables. Mm. God has a way of changing it. But the constant is that you shall be promoted. Amen. The constant is that you shall be married. Mm. The constant is that you shall succeed in that business. That's right. The constant is that you shall preach the gospel. Hallelujah. The constant is that victory is assured for you. Amen. Leave the variables to the Lord. Hallelujah. The problem is that our mind is focusing on variables mm. and that variables is affecting our faith. Mm. They got there in the manger. Your manger, my manger, our manger in this time 
is this circumstances, the situation in this time that doesn't make sense. This abnormal situation. Mm. And the Lord said, even in this abnormal situation, that vision will see the light of the day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are saying, okay, I hear you. In this situation that is not ideal, how will I be known? How will the nation of the earth knows about me? How will they find? I am working from home. How will I be promoted? Because I think if I'm in the office under normal circumstances, my boss will see me working so hard. They will see me working up to five o'clock on the door. How come now I'm in a manger? I am working from home. How will they see that I'm working? Leave the variables yes. to God. I am Yes. Jesus was there, and the Bible says he came for the nation of the world in a manger, <laughs> not in the hotel. Maybe if Jesus was born in the hotel, one of the rich people would have seen him. They would have heard the cry of a baby, and they would say, who is this? They would say, this is the child promised by the Lord, and the rich people will send it to the press, and the old people will know. But this is a manger, a local place. Who? We announce a child to the nations of the world. Don't limit God, child of God. If you go down in that scripture, look at what the word of God says. In verse 8, the Bible says, there were shepherds, not kings, not Pharisees, mm. not Pharisees, not temple workers. Shepherd in the midst of the field. While they are watching their flock by night, the Bible said the Lord sent an angel, and the angel came and told them, Peace, joy to the world. Mm. Don't be afraid. The promised child is born. Mm. And the Bible said, He told them about the child. Let your heart be at peace. Don't be afraid. Mm. Joy to the world. And He told them, the child is there. He gave them the GPS. Mm. He gave them the GPS direction to where the child is. You see, because if something that the Lord promised manifests, that thing must be announced to the nations of the air. Mm. It must be known to the nations of the air. Mm. If you check the Bible, any new thing the Lord does, it must be announced for people so no, those who need to benefit from it must know. So when you start a business, people with patronage who needs to know, mm. hallelujah. If you need to be married, somebody needs to announce you to those who will support your marriage. If you start your ministry, somebody needs to announce you. You need to be announced. Hallelujah. Yes. But this child was born in the manger. Who mm. will go and announce? Mm. And who will believe that this one born in a manger among the smelly animals is the one that will save the world? Mm. The Lord said, leave that to me. Yeah. He sent the angels. And when the shepherd heard this news, the Bible said they were full of joy. Mm. They went immediately and they went to greet the king. They saw the king in the manger. They gave the gift. And when they went, look at verse. Hey. <laughs> look at uh, verse 16. The Bible said they hurried to the village and they found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the manger. I want to pray for someone. This as you are giving back to that vision, mm. as the fulfillment of prophecy is coming to pass, mm. God will send a helper that will announce you to the nation of the world. You will not look for them. They will come to look for you at the instruction of the Lord, and they will not delay. They will not delay in the name of Jesus. Because when they heard from the angel, immediately they went and they found Mary and Joseph. Ah, may you be found where the Lord bless you. Amen. May you be found where the Lord asks you to see. May you be found when your helper comes. May you be found 
yes. when you are announced a town, ah, Joseph could have said, what nonsense is this? Carry the baby, carry the mother, and go and negotiate, bribe somebody, and said, I want to be in the inn because this is a child, this place is not healthy. But he stayed there under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Many people have left the place where the Lord has planted them. Ah, may the Lord keep you rooted. Amen. May you not live before your yes. time in the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. And the Bible says, when this shepherd saw the child in verse 17, they were full of joy. And the shepherd went around and they told everyone <laughs> widely. They went all around to broadcast the news. The vision has arrived. Mm. The vision has been fulfilled. Hallelujah. They went to announce prophecy has been fulfilled. They went to announce prayers have been answered. Hallelujah. Yes, and the Bible says in verse 18, mm. all those who heard the story were <laughs> astonished. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. I pray for you as it happened to Jesus. Yes. It shall happen to you in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. You might find yourself Amen. in a manger, for that miracle child will be given back to you. God will send people that will announce you in the name of Jesus. They will announce you to the name yes. of the world. I speak for those who are called in ministry. Yes. Those who are called to evangelize. I speak to those who are online, who are called to minister in songs. You have been waiting. When will my time come? I decree over your life. Now is your time. Remain in your manger. The ever is coming. Don't live before time. In the name of Jesus, you might be in a church which is not a mega church, but the true word of the Lord is being spoken. Stay there, that is your manger. You are in a well place that is not making sense. That is your manger. Wait there until the appointed time. The Lord who made it possible we surely make sure yes. that your vision will see the light mm. of the day. There is hope for every vision carriers. Mm. There is hope. If your hope is going down, I pray for you this morning. Let that hope be rejuvenated. Amen. Let that hope come alive in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that hope you have in the Lord, that hope will not disappoint you. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. As we celebrate the birth of Christ today, I want you to know that he has come to give us life and to give us life in abundance. That which he did, that which he did on the cross of Calvary, oh, that it shall manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. I want you to celebrate with the assurance that we, are uh, in the manger. Yes. We are in the manger. Our vision is being realized. Yes. Prophecy is being yes. fulfilled. Yes. Prayers are being answered. Prayers. And helpers are coming yes. to announce yes. to the nations yes, of the earth. Mm. And as we end this year, we shall end it in celebration. Hallelujah. We shall end this year in glorifying God. Hallelujah. We shall end this year singing a new song. Don't let that dream die. Don't let that vision perish. Don't let your expectation be cut off because God of all grace will make sure that vision will come to pass. God bless you. And once again, I say to you, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Amen. Hallelujah.
because you are in lockdown, but the word came out this morning that that man is coming and he, you will get married. Don't limit God in this season. Don't look at the variables we were told this morning. Don't look at those things that are happening. Hold on to the word. Hold on to the word that was spoken over your life. Hold on to the prophecy that was prophesied over your life. And from the manger, you will be announced to the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle, we just want to thank you for the word that you have shared this, uh, delivered this morning. What a powerful word. And we just want to thank God. Can you just take time and just say, Lord, I thank you for the word. Lord, I thank you that my word, my prophecy will come to pass in my life. Can you pray for yourself this morning and declare my prophecy shall come to pass. Declare it over your life. My prophecy, my prophecy is coming to pass. Even in that season, I will not leave it, God. I will not be worried. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just as it was said, amidst chaos. Hallelujah. In the midst of chaos, it was part of the plan of God. It was part of the plan of God. So, Father, we want to thank you this morning for what you have done. Hallelujah. I just want to sing a song that I wrote some years back just to thank the Lord for what he has done. Hallelujah. And this is a song that I wrote just to say, Lord, I thank you. Even in the midst of chaos, even when we don't understand things, we just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. How can I ever thank you Thank you. 
we just want to say thank you that you have tuned in indeed merry christmas and we just want to announce again we will meet again on sunday the last sunday of the year on the 27th we will also have a service online hallelujah so please tune in wherever you are the service will also be at 10 it will be at 10 o'clock on sunday morning so join in again god bless you i just want to call the apostle just to come in and, and bless us all as we conclude this service and we will together say merry Christmas, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Apostle, you are welcome. God bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everyone. Yes. Thank you for your word. Yes. Thank you for remembering us in this time. Yes. And we thank you because we know yes. there is hope. Yes. And you will walk out to us. Yes. Your yes. Heavenly Father, as we continue to celebrate in your presence, yes. I pray that you will be with each and every man in the name of Jesus. In this time, I pray that your love will bind families yes. together. If there be any family where there is disagreement or chaos, I pray that the peace of the Lord will rest in that home and the joy of the Lord we reign in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. For every child that is wayward during this time, we pray that your love will bring them Amen. in the name of Jesus. We bless you. And for those who will be traveling, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. They will arrive at their destination safe and sound. And as we come down to the end of the year, I pray every blessing that remains for us will be handed over to us in the mighty name of Jesus. And only the will and the counsel of the Lord will come to pass in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 We say Merry Christmas to all, all of you. you. God, bless God bless you. From all of us to all of you, Merry God Christmas. Merry and Christmas. we meet again this coming Sunday at 10 for the last service of 2020. 20. God bless you and thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.